Hello everyone, welcome back to Tuition Masters and today we are here with our grammar, uh, grammar series for all the grades, grades 6 to 10. So in our today's session we are going to discuss about the basic topic of grammar that is tenses. So yes, our grammar series is known as Grammar Station where we get to know all the grammar topics super easily, right? So today we are going to do all the three types of tenses in one shot okay so basically before starting make sure that you are subscribing to the channel if you didn't do it and like the video share it with your friends also all right now let's see what are tenses tenses you might have been studying from a very lower grade isn't it so when i talk about tense tense is a form of verb which shows the time of an action okay time of an action or the degree of its completion so maybe it will show that anything is going on or it may have happened it's completed or it may happen in the future right so based on that there are three types of tenses what are they three major types present tense past tense and future tense right and in these we have sub parts so let's understand what is the present tense isn't it so when i talk about present tense first one comes the simple present tense nothing complicated simple right present it is going on that's it so for affirmative means positive sentences how will you frame it you have to write your subject i'm going to give all such kind of formulae for your tenses in this video so first will come your subject, then the first form of the verb, like normal verb, like for eat, what will be the three types? First, V1 will be like when I talk about V1, V2 and V3, isn't it? So uh, present, past and past participle, isn't it? So what I'm going to say is that first one will be my eat, next will be eat. And participle will be eaten. So, this is V1, V2, V3. So, in present, simple present tense, we will use the V1 plus S or ES if it is singular plural that way. Now, negative sentences. Subject will come first. Then, do, uh, do not or does not because not. This has to come for a negative impact, isn't it? And again, V1. After that, interrogative sentence. Interrogative means question. So, do, does, and then a subject. Then the first form of the word. So, first will give your do or does will come. Then the subject and then the V1. Now, here you see uh, affirmative. I work. We work. You work. That is affirmative. Negative will come. I do not work. We do not work. Isn't it? Interrogative. Do I work? Do we work? Do you work? Then negative interrogative, do I not work? Do we not work? Do you not work? Isn't it? So here what you can see? We can observe here that in this example, uh, I work. I, I do not work. So I, I is what? I is my uh, subject, isn't it? I is my subject. And then do, do not we have to put in the middle? And then work is what? Work is my uh, first form of the verb, isn't it? So that is how you're going to frame it. Next type of present tense is present continuous tense. Means a thing is going on in the present. It's currently going on. Okay. Like I am teaching now, isn't it? So how will you write it? You will affirmatives are written in the form of subject plus is our is for singular, are for plural, and am for your own self. Then again, V1 plus ING. ING like play is V1. Plus ING becomes playing, working, teaching, eating. That you have to put. Should show that it's continuing. Now, negative subject plus again is, are, am plus not to show the negative impact. Then again, V1 and ING. Next, interrogative, your question, question, like, you know, question sentences. First, you will put is, are, or am. Like, um, is Rohan doing his work? Uh, am I supposed to do the homework? Like that. Okay. Now, see, first one is, are, or am will come. Then, subject of your sentence and V1 plus ing. That is present continuous. How, let's say, sentences, I am working. I am not working. Am I working? Am I not working? 
okay then you are working you are not working are you working are you not working so let's take an example of we are working okay now when i talk about we are working so we is what we is my subject correct we becomes my subject then you have to put a r in the middle and working what is what is working working is nothing but my v1 that is work plus ing so the main thing is that you have to put the first form of the verb v1 plus ing okay next comes present perfect tense for whenever this word comes whenever you listen the word perfect always put has have has and have will be always there in perfect tenses okay affirmative positive sentences you will have to put your subject i v u that way then you have to put a has or have as per singular plural and you have to put the third form the participle form v3 you will put okay eaten that you will put similarly in perfect in all the perfect tenses we will put v3 we are going to put v3 in negative we will put has or has not have have not has has not okay next interrogative will put has or have in the starting then our subject and then the third form of the verb let's see sentences uh, you have worked you have not worked have you worked have the, have you not worked right that is it have you eaten the food okay so that is how you will do let's take an example uh, have you let me change the pen color hmm have you eaten food so here what happens over here you see have, have i am putting this a interrogative sentence have at the first place then you comes the subject isn't it and then eaten is my participle isn't it so this tense always remember students one important note is that this tense always denotes the completion of an uh, action when an action is completed that is reflected over here okay and it also reveals the present state of a completed action okay so this is your perfect tense N next is a uh, present perfect continuous the last type present perfect and continuous means perfect will be there continuous perfect means has or have will be there plus continuous correct so how will i write it <clears throat> affirmative sentences they are written in this form which form they have written in the first will be subject then has or have and a been also you have to put a been has been have been that is very important part after that you will put the verb verb means v1 you are going to put here and ing so con uh, continuous always have v1 plus ing so that i put perfect has has or have that i'll put and a been also so subject plus has been or have been plus v1 plus ing that is affirmative now for negative what will you do you will just put a has or have not been okay and then again v1 plus ing now in interrogative the has or have will come ahead okay now there's a change it's not have have been plus the subject no it is has or have plus the subject after the subject been is going to come okay i'll show you sentences so after the after the subject of your sentence after that been is going to come and as usual v1 plus ing now one important note is that in whenever we are using perfect or present perfect continuous tenses the word for it is used for a period of time it is used with a period of time and since with a point of time so for and since they have difference okay he has been working for an hour means that, uh, for an hour means in an hour he is uh, working okay so that's a period now he has been working since 2 o'clock now uh, when i'm specifically pointing a time i will use what i'll use my since but when i am writing just an hour 20 minutes 30 minutes so i'll write here for for example uh, i have been making uh, videos uh, uh, for an hour for uh, for 2 hours no i have been making videos 
सिंस टू आवर्स ओके और फॉर ओके या फॉर टू आवर्स एंड आई हैव बीन मेकिंग वीडियोज सिंस नाइन ए एम ओके दैट वे सो दैट इज फॉर एंड सिंस लेट सी सम सेंटेंसेज सुमन हैज बीन वर्किंग सिंस मॉर्निंग सिंस मॉर्निंग दैट इज अ टाइम राइट दैट इज अ स्पेसिफिक टाइम मॉर्निंग टाइम करेक्ट Now, Suman has not been working since morning. Interrogative: Whose work has he been doing for two years? Then, whose work has he not been doing for two years? So, you see, whose is coming first? Okay. Then, ha uh, has he then been? Been is coming after the subject. Okay. So that is my uh present perfect continuous. Let's move towards the next type. That is the simple past tense. Now we did. Present. Now we are going to do past. Past means which thing is already done. So simple. What is it? Simple means as usual we say affirmative is written in the form of subject plus second form now. V two. Okay, that's it. Next in negative we will write subject a did not also for negative impact and the first form. Okay, remember in negative in uh, negative past and interrogative past you will always put the first form. But in affirmative, it will be the second form. Okay. Now you heard you see, I worked. I did not work. Did I work? So see, I worked. It is the second form. This is work V one. This is also work V one. So in interrogative and negative, we will always use the first form of the verb. Whereas in affirmative, we will use the third form sorry not second this is third form oh no yeah sorry second form yes verb yeah second form of the verb you are going to use all right so as you see a second form we will use so you worked you did not work did he she or it work did he or she not work that way why did you come late why did you not come late so all this so uh, uh, whatever slides you can see i'll be uploading it very soon in the description box also you can always refer it for your exam Next comes past continuous. Past continuous, as in the thing which is it, uh, it is in the past, but it is still going on. So how will you write it? Affirmative, subject first, then was or were because it is past tense, and then v one plus ing. V one is going to come and ing. Okay. Now negative subject plus was or were not, and v one here also v one, and Oh, uh, in negative not will always come, and interrogative was or were will come first. Let's see an example. You were working. You were not working. Was he working? So see, you becomes a subject. Then were will you have to put were or was? Then working. Working is what? This is my v one plus ing. Correct. Similarly, you also were not and was. Isn't it? <clears throat> so that is how you have to do the uh, past continuous. Next comes past perfect. Again, when uh, now in present perfect, what was there? Has or have. Now in past perfect, we will use had. Okay. So first one is subject plus had plus v three. Now I am going to put my third form, the participle. Okay. Negative. Subject plus a not had not okay now your has or have will not come your only had is going to come and again a v three interrogative had plus subject and v three okay so the past perfect always remember had that's it and other participle so here you see you had worked you is coming subject then had and worked that is participle isn't it Now you had not work, had not, had she work, had she not work. Okay, that is interrogative. Now, next is last type of past tense is past perfect continuous. Again the same. Perfect is coming means had been correct. Had been will come, isn't it? Had been and continuous means v one plus ing. Simple, isn't it? So affirmative. Affirmative will be positive sentences subject plus a had been has or have no confusion you will directly put had always so subject plus had been and v one plus ing similarly here also subject plus had not been plus v one and ing 
Correct. In interrogative also, had will come first, then the subject, then been. And always remember, in interrogative sentences of perfect continuous, been will always come after the subject. Then the first form and I, N, G. Simple. Now, when do we use this? We use this time expressions since and for. In the same way as we use them in present perfect and uh, present perfect continuous. So, the usage of since and for is the same as I discussed earlier. Sentences. So, here you see, I had been working. I had not been working. Had I been, had they been working? Had, uh, had they not been working? So, you see, the after the subject, after the subject, been will come. Okay. So, I had been working. Working becomes what? Working is nothing but my uh, V1 plus ING. Okay. Super clear. Next, you had been working. You had not been working. Had someone been working? So, that is how you will do. Now, the last type is future tense. So, now we will do simple future, isn't it? Now, what is simple future tense? Simple future as in, uh, simple future refers to the uh, affirmative, uh, sorry, future as in anything which is going to happen. It's not occurred yet. It will happen. The main words are will and shall, correct? Will, uh, will, will and shall are the main words over here, correct? They are the main words, will and shall, they are main. So, subject plus will or shall and v1 again v1 will come after that negative shall not will not and v1 similarly for the interrogative first the subject is going to come okay then will or shall will come and the subject again and the first form of the word now remember the be going to that form is used to describe the speaker's intention to do something in fairly immediate order. i am going to say it just now Immediate future means, uh, for example, um, I am going to show you the sentences. Means I am just going to do it. Okay, I am just going to do it. So, that is where I will be using be going to. So, as I said, here are the sentences. Correct. We shall attend the meeting. We shall or will attend the meeting. Okay, shall, will, where you will use it, that is nothing but related to uh, auxiliary verbs and models. Okay, so uh, you can even say we will attend the meeting, we shall attend the meeting. That's based on how much uh, sure you are. Okay, we shall not attend the meeting. Negative, shall, uh, shall we attend the meeting? Uh, so, shall is coming first. Alright, so that is simple future tense. Next comes future continuous. A anything which is in the future but it is continuing. So, how will you write? The subject plus will shall plus a B also. B is also going to come and again V1 and ING. Okay, V1 and ING. So, here also in negative it will be will or shall and not will come for a negative impact and again V1 and ING of the word. Then, will shall plus the subject plus B and V1 and ING for interrogative. Let's see here. She will be playing tennis at 9 o'clock tomorrow. She will be playing tennis at 9 o'clock tomorrow. Will be playing. Playing becomes the continuous. And tomorrow means in the future. She will not be playing tennis. Will she play tennis at 9 o'clock? Then will she not be playing tennis at 9 o'clock tomorrow? So that is how you are going to frame your sentences, isn't it? Next, future. Future perfect tense. Future perfect tense means, again, I will put a will, shall and a have also here. Okay. Now, affirmative subject plus will or shall plus a have. Now, everywhere have is going to come. No had, no has. Only have. And here. Remember students, I am going to put the participle form everywhere. That is V3. So, negative sentences, subject plus will or shall not, then have, then again V3. Then interrogative a question mark. So, will, shall plus subject and not also if it is negative and the V3. Alright. So, let's see sentences. Before you come, she will have slept. Before you come. She will have slept. Okay. Have. See. 
before you come she will not have slept will not will she have slept before you come will she not have slept before you come so that is the uh, perfect tense okay future perfect next is future perfect continuous now what will happen future will shall perfect have been continuous v1 plus ing so everything will be combined here so as i said for future will or shall will be there then for perfect have been then for continuous v1 plus i n sorry i n g super easy right tenses are always easy so future perfect continuous a future uh, affirmative will be subject plus a will or shall then a have been then the v1 plus ing negative will be what subject plus will or shall plus not okay because it's negative and have been plus the first form of verb interrogative will be what will shall plus verb plus not plus have been and v1 plus ing super easy right sentences by 2020 they will have been living here for 4 years means when it is 2020 that time they will be living here for 4 years okay now by two, uh, 2020 they will not have been living here for 4 years right will they have been living here for 4 years by 2020 will they not have been living here for 4 years by 2020 right so future perfect can you see here will have been living here for 4 years so that is what my perfect continuous is now some important note is that here i'll explain you some important points you know it will it can it can you know confuse you whenever i talk about future tense it is not used in time clauses so we will go when you come back this is the correct method you will not say that we will go when you will come back so many times we say right i i will go when you will come back that is the thing we usually say but that is wrong you cannot use two to will you will only use one will you will say that uh, we will go when you come back that's it okay next is we shall start studying seriously after guests guest have left this is correct wrong way is we shall start studying seriously after the guest will have left again you will not use will and shall together in a sentence you will only use one of them so we shall start studying or we will start studying seriously after the guest have left no need of this will so these are some important notes so yes students we have completed with the today's session so thank you so much for uh, watching today's video and we completed all the tenses this ppt will be available in the description box so that you can refer all the sentences and the uh, you know the forms also make sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends comment on if you have any doubts and feedback and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so that you get regular notifications i'll be seeing you very soon in our next videos till then take care and